Hi, in this video I want to show how to solve a um, genetic forensic uh, problem. Uh, so, here is a question. Which of the following is not potential source of DNA for the forensic analysis? I will read answers aloud so you may have time to choose the correct answer. So, A. Hair roots. B. Red blood cells. C. Epithelial cells in urine. D. Muscle tissue. And E. Saliva. So, if you're still thinking about the correct answer, I want to remind that the question is which tissues is not potential source. So, um, let me first talk about uh, hair roots. Um, the hair follicle at the base of the human hairs is a good source of DNA and it, it's high in content of the DNA and in order to be able to extract DNA, uh, hair root uh, should be present and the hair itself should not be broken. For example, in this place we cannot uh, extract DNA from this uh, uh, from this fragment of the hair, but we can uh, use this fragment for DNA extraction. So, um, as long as the epithelial cells uh, are present in urine, we also can extract DNA and um, so this is um, also can be used for DNA extraction, especially um, the male urine uh, usually contains uh, sperm that is also a perfect source of the DNA extraction. And for the muscle tissue, um, any body uh, tissues is very good source of uh, uh, DNA, if it's not degraded, um, if body is not decomposed, but um, if the body decomposed, so uh, we can use uh, um, DNA from the bones, and uh, you probably know that uh, even 20, 30, 50 years after uh, bonds uh, can be excavated from the say site of uh, uh, crime the DNA that is inside uh, of the bone uh, can be extracted for example uh, it was the case with the bones of the um, um, Romanov's family in Russia, when 70 years later uh, scientists were able to confirm that those bones were uh, from the Tsar's uh, family and also DNA from the bone has been used to identify um, the uh, repatriated bones from the Vietnam era and like the bones teeth can also be used um, uh, for the DNA extraction um, as long as the rest of the body has decomposed. Um, as for the saliva, uh, saliva itself uh, doesn't contain uh, DNA but um, uh, uh, cheeks for example in inner layer usually sheds some cells that is always present in saliva and those cells, uh, epithelial cells, uh, contains DNA and um, different uh, uh, crime evidence that can be obtained, for example, like um, marks from the bites and cigarette butts, uh, postage stamps uh, on the envelopes for DNA analysis can be used 
and in fact um, Unabomber was convinced partly on the DNA evidence from the uh, bomb uh, he mailed and that did not explode. And um, so what we left with is red blood cells. Blood itself uh, is a perfect source of the DNA for extraction uh, but, and um, we only need like 50 uh, microliters. It's about spot about the size of uh, a dime uh, in order to be able to extract enough DNA. Um, but uh, only white blood uh, cells use it for this extraction because red blood cells doesn't contain DNA. Uh, they do not contain nucleus. And so these cells cannot reproduce by themselves. They only produce in uh, bone marrow. So um, we cannot use uh, uh, red blood cells for our investigation. So the correct answer would be B. Uh, Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and goodbye.